rather live in your favourite movie or in your favourite book? Would you rather lick the trash can or the bathroom floor? Oh! Would you rather eat poop that tastes like curry or curry ah! that tastes like poop? Hello, I'm Lucy and this is my mum Julie. Hello, I'm Lucy's mum. And we've been out on the internet this week asking you for your would you rather questions. And we've got a huge response. Yes, thank you everybody, you've thank been amazing. You. I haven't actually seen them, Lucy's not showed them to me, so we're hoping for a spontaneous response. Yes, we'll see what we get. <laughs> we are the most indecisive people on the planet. We so. are, yes, so settle in, get a cup of tea. We'll try and be decisive. Yes, yes, we'll go with our guts. Yes. The first question comes from Teacher Raf. We actually got this idea from Teacher Raf's channel, so thank you, Teacher Raf. Go and check out his channel. He is a teacher, recruiter, trainer, writer, consultant, and he mentors ESL teachers, and his channel's about that, and lots of other things as well. Teacher Raf wants to know, would you rather be a mermaid or Wonder Woman? Oh, gosh. We've both got a bit of a fish phobia. Yeah. So swimming in the ocean with all those fish and everything. I would have to say Wonder Woman. I mean, I love the outfit too of Wonder Woman. <laughs> Definitely Good. Wonder Woman. Because I don't know if mermaids have any particular superpowers or anything like they that. They lure sailors, don't they? Yeah, With but their wicked ways. They do, but yes. that's... I don't know how useful that would be. Well, maybe it was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Decisive. Wonder Woman. Our next question is from Teacher Mindy. Teacher Mindy is also an English as a Second Language teacher. And her YouTube has some lovely arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. So if you're into that, strongly recommend checking that out. Teacher Mindy wants to know, would you rather have a spoonful of cinnamon or get a whipped cream pie in the face. <laughs> Oh, what a great question. <laughs> yes, because we have oh. experienced both on our YouTube journey. And neither are pleasant. Neither are pleasant. I was the most nervous beforehand with the whipped cream pie. Mm. I was very nervous. You were shaking. I was. The thing is, you don't look very glamorous with either. Because no. the whipped cream pie, you get your makeup and everything rolling down your face. Yeah. And the cinnamon challenge, you get all this gunk coming out. And your, your teeth mouth. are... And your teeth yeah. are like, um, you know, hags cinnamon. Teeth. Yeah. yeah. Neither are good. No. I would say I would rather do the cinnamon challenge. I would say rather the cinnamon challenge as well. It was just easier to clean up on your face, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, because once you do the whipped cream pie in the face challenge, you have to have a shower, wash your hair. You had yeah, to clean my whole room out. And you can smell it, it for oh. ages afterwards. Yeah. That's what shocked me. Yeah, you, you can smell it all the time. Yeah, I was smelling the whipped cream for days. Yeah. So I'm going to go with cinnamon. Yeah, me too. This next question comes to us from Cindy Bennett. Cindy's another VIP kid teacher, and her YouTube channel is a really good resource if you're thinking about becoming a VIP kid teacher, or if you are a VIP kid teacher and you're looking for more information, go to Cindy's YouTube. <laughs> Cindy's actually asked us quite a few questions. Uh -huh. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Cindy. Would you rather be turned into a dog or an eagle? We've got a dog right here. Yeah, we have. A very looks sleepy quite dog. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a nice life. You get to sleep a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah, must be exciting to fly, mustn't it, being an yeah. eagle? Eagles are quite free, aren't they? There's something quite nice about being like a nice free bird. The dogs are more attractive. <laughs> But they are very subservient to humans. So I was initially thinking dog, but actually the freedom of being an eagle. I don't know if they have any predators apart from maybe man, but yeah. not really. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong other Americans, I believe it's illegal to kill eagles. Oh, it must be, yeah. In America. I would go with eagle too, because I think they're pretty much king of the skies and have a rather, rather nice life. I think so. We'd both say eagle. Cindy's next one is, would you rather lick the trash can or the bathroom floor? Oh, God. I was just waiting for the face she was going to oh. put the thought of that, because mum is a very neat freak. I would have to say trash can, because, you know, oh, God, this is going to sound really gross, but if there are any spillages, you know, <laughs> get a man in there who's not in control. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I suppose it depends whose bathroom floor. Yours is probably impeccable. Oh, yeah, public bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah she probably could eat the di your dinner off mine. But, yeah. Um, a public bathroom floor. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. 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 In that case, I would go for the trash can. I think. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for that question. Yeah. <laughs> Turned my stomach a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy's right in there with the <laughs> strong questions. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Yeah. Cindy's next one. Oh, I love this one. Would you rather be Dorothy of Oz or Alice of Wonderland? Oh gosh. 
They're both quite weird worlds, aren't Very they? Very weird worlds, yeah. And a little bit hostile, but then there are friends to be made in both yeah. worlds. Yeah, I'm thinking Alice because I'm wearing an Alice bag. Yeah. <laughs> but Dorothy and clicking those red shoes. I do like Dorothy's shoes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think Dorothy because of the camaraderie with the yeah, Tin Man and the I do Cowardly too. Lion and the Making Scarecrow. those friends. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. You're not in it alone, are you? No, I agree. I would go with Dorothy. Dorothy, yes. Thank you for the great questions. Yes, Cindy. thank you. I think we've had the same answer to each so far. Yeah, we haven't disagreed mm. with any, have we? No. This next one comes to us from Amanda Panda Teacher. Amanda Panda. Great name. Sorry, I just realised what you said. Amanda Panda. What a name. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? Mm. Amanda Panda Teacher's YouTube has a lot of helpful videos if you're an English as a second language teacher, so go and check that out. And this question is specifically, I would say, for people who teach VIP Kid, which I do, if you don't know what it is, very briefly, it's um, English as a Second Language Teaching online for children in China. Amanda Panda Teacher wants to know, would you rather get a One Apple Review or a Teacher No Show? Tough one. The parents can leave Apple reviews for us, up to five apples, kind of like star ratings, but they give the teachers apples, which I think is cute. So Aww. one apple is the worst you can get. Horrendous nightmare. And a teacher no show is basically when you just miss a class and that can impact your pay and that can impact you getting rebooked and obviously it looks bad and I think it goes on your record. And if you get enough of them, I think they will um, not renew your contract. Mm. Mm. Having said all that then, I, I, I'm not a teacher, but I would say I would rather not get the no-show. Whenever I'm in class, I know I'm always giving as much as I can to that class. So if I did get a One Apple review, I just think, oh well, it just wasn't a good fit, or you know, maybe they're just having a bad day, or you know, I try my best to just, you know, let it wash over me and know that there's nothing else I could really have done whereas for a teacher no show there is other things that you could have done to prevent that that's kind of on you unless of course you have an emergency but then VIP kid would um, give you what they call a soft cancellation so it's a, a milder form of that cancellation you wouldn't get all the all the punishments that come with it so yeah I'd say one apple review thank you very much for your question Amanda Panda teacher this next one comes to us from Sylvie from Sylvie on Saturday Sylvie's channel is all about, well, lots of things really. Cooking and recipes, book reviews, driving and walking in her local area, news, and whatever else crosses her mind, it says here. So check that out. That sounds really interesting. It does. That sounds wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Sylvie wants to know, would you rather have a horse-sized puppy or a puppy-sized horse? <laughs> Just having a puppy who's um, a little over four pounds, yes. she's quite a lot to handle, so I can't imagine a horse-sized one. No, and can you imagine the size of the poop? The you'd poop. Have to, you'd have to scoop. Yeah. That, that must be, yeah, you need a shovel, wouldn't you? For that reason only, I think I'd go for the smaller animal. Yeah, well you still have to clean the horse out, but there'd be less of it, wouldn't there? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. You couldn't have a puppy-sized horse in your house. Well, you could, but you would have to have some sort of stabling facility? Presumably, yeah. With that in mind, because I've got nowhere at my condo <laughs> to stable a horse, I would say a horse-sized puppy. Thank you for that one, Sylvie. Yes. That was really a food for thought there. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, difficult one, I, I feel. Yeah, really difficult. Mm. Thank you. This next one comes to us from Ladina Leedy from Leedy's Outlook. In a journey to self-discovery. Ooh. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, go and check that out if that sounds appealing. Ladina says, first of all, you both look gorgeous. Oh my goodness! Oh, shucks! Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Her question is, would you rather live in your favourite movie or in your favourite book? Oh my gosh. Mm. Difficult. My favourite book. It's a very hard one. I would say Pride and Prejudice. Mm. Elizabeth Bennet. Oh, I love her sense of humour. I wouldn't really like to be born in those times. No, no. First of all, what's your favourite book? Mine's a tough one because my, my favourite book is The Lord of the Rings and my mm. favourite movie is the movie of that book. So if, if I was going with that, what I would say is um, I'd rather be in the movie because everyone's a little bit younger and more good looking than they are described as in the oh. book. With it being 
movie land. But there's all those horrible monster type things, isn't there? That is. There's a lot of danger, all those dark riders yeah, and that's right. yeah. Gollum and all you know. But you could live in the Shire and I think most oh. of the people in the Shire are pretty unaware of what's going on. That would be a nice place to live, you know, yes. a bit more constant. But not so many nice looking characters. No, that's so, true. You know. <laughs> what character would you be? Would you be Gollum then? <laughs> First thing in the morning, I'm probably gonna. Yeah. Then I warm up into Schmeagol as it goes along. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your answer as well then? You'd rather be in the Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Oh no, but hang on. Let's do a bit of a U-turn. Mr. Darcy coming out of the water. It's true. It's almost worth that it. That white for... shirt all dripping and oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Basically comes down to which one has the most sexy characters. Yeah. <laughs> intellectual answer I'm afraid. No, no. I'm definitely going to go with Gladriel uh, in The Lord of the Rings because yeah. she has more fun. These next questions come from Angela from my take on Home and Garden. Thank Hi, you Angela. Angela. Hello. She runs this channel with her husband Jeff. They live in sunny Florida and they enjoy finding bargains, antiques, vintage and flea market items, renovating houses and landscaping. I love all those things. Oh, me too. Yeah, really beautiful. good. And there's some beautiful things on that side. Yes. This is stunning. Yes, go and have a look. Angela wants to know, would you rather have three kids and no money, <laughs> or no kids and three million dollars? Oh, difficult Be careful one. how you answer this, because she does have three children. Yeah, I have two children, um, naturally, and I have one stepdaughter. <laughs> Unnaturally. <laughs> Unnaturally, yeah. <laughs> I'd find it awful not to have had children, and you know, you get a lot of pain, but you get so much pleasure out of them. I would definitely go for three kids, no money. I'm sorry, I'm taking the three million dollars. <laughs> Well, it's easier to answer that way when you haven't got children yet, I suppose. Yeah, I guess it is. But yeah. can you imagine not ever having them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love being a mum. And I wasn't like a natural mumsy person before I was pregnant the first time. And then when they grow up and you, and you eventually have grandchildren, I have got a little step-grandson who is adorable. Yeah, he is really You cute. get even more joy. If I could, like, skip children and just go to straight to having grandchildren, that might be all right. Yeah. You know, just play with them for a bit and hang out and like and hand them over. Hand them over, yeah. Perhaps I, I'm just good at being an auntie. Yeah, I hope you have children. I don't want to be a grandma again. Yeah. And well, I'm talking to you too, Katie. You have a, a grand puppy. I do, I have a grand puppy who's fast asleep at the yeah. moment. <laughs> Through it all. <laughs> I just think once you've had a child, I can't imagine answering any other way. Yeah. Because, you know, the most important thing in life isn't money. And I think as the older you get, the more you realise that. You've got to have enough to live on. Mm. But really, it's not as fulfilling as um, family and friends. Well, that's pretty serious, wasn't That it? was very mm. profound. Mm. Thank you for that one, Angela. Yes. We don't usually get that serious on the channel. Yeah, no, it's good. Thank no. you. No, yeah. We're learning a bit about each other, too. Mm. This is Angela's second one, and I like this one. Would you rather look 10 years older from the neck up oh, or God. the neck down? Oh, God. Well, God. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years older from the neck up. Oh, it'd have to be the neck down, I think. Well, you can do a lot with the right clothes, can't you? Yeah, you could. I, I cover everything up virtually. <laughs> I would probably go from the neck down too. Mm. I don't want to give away my age, but thinking about women 10 years older than me, some of them still have banging bodies. Yeah, they do. Women 10 years older than me, maybe not so much. <laughs> It's, it's a difficult question again, but I would definitely say uh, I would want to look younger from the neck up. Yes. So this next one comes to us from John Atkins, aka Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dad, for joining in. Dad's just started his YouTube channel. I think we inspired him a bit. I think we did, and it's really fun. It's all about Norwich, past and present, and um, it's really good. Check this it is out. Norwich, England, if anyone's oh, yes. wondering. Yeah. yeah. The of Norwich. Go and check him out. He wants to know, would you rather have youth or experience? 
Well, there's a lot to be said for both. I wouldn't want to go back to being really young again, you know, like in my teens and maybe early 20s. Oh, God, you're so in uncertain about yourself. You're all emotional. Mm. Um, you're bored a lot of the time. I've never been bored since. No. <laughs> Especially in your teens. Oh, my God. No, I wouldn't want to be a teenager again. No. Who said school days were the best days of your yeah, life? No. 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 You learn so much from experience. Oh, my goodness. Some things you just would not have done if you had known. Tempting though it would be, very tempting, I would go for experience. I'm kind of looking forward to being that kind of older eccentric person who just doesn't care what anyone thinks yeah. of me. I guess that comes with experience because you learn actually you know what people think of you maybe isn't as important as you thought when you were younger mm. and I've started to notice as I'm getting a little older I care so much less what people think of me. And I think the experience teaches you what you like to do and what you really don't and that you don't have to do always what you don't want to do. Yeah, there's a lot of peer pressure when you're younger, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Cool. Yeah, so much. So are you going for the same? Or? I think so. If I could have the experience but with the energy of youth, that would oh, probably be <laughs> for sure, yeah. But that's yeah. not really a would you rather, is no, it? No, <laughs> no. Thank Thanks, you, Jan. Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Our next question comes from Saeed Chemis. Thank you, Saeed. He is Wonder of Footsteps on YouTube and his channel is all about adventures, traveling, he's got some book reviews on there, he discusses philosophy and the mysteries of the universe, so if that sounds interesting please go and check out his channel. His question is, would you rather swim with sharks or swim with dolphins? <laughs> Being the less adventurous sort, definitely the dolphins, I would be very scared of the sharks. Not because of our funny fish phobia that we mentioned, because no. I'm not really phobic about sharks. I just don't like all those teeth. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not really a phobia, is it? I think no. that's quite rational. I think it would give you so much kudos to say, oh, I've swum with sharks. Mm. And you'd be like, you know. You'd be really cool. Yeah, the crocodile dundee of the sea. I think I would be so scared that I would have to do the little dolphins, because they're so cute too. They're also mammals, so they're technically not fish. Although I still, I, I still don't really like flippers and things like that. I've got. No. I think my phobia is more intense than yours. Yes, I think it is. I would reluctantly swim with the dolphins, but yeah. So you wouldn't go for the shark then? I definitely wouldn't go for the shark. No. <laughs> well, we're saying dolphin. We're saying dolphins. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you. Our next question is from Ozzy Awesome on YouTube. Thank you, Ozzy Awesome. And what an awesome name. I just yeah. love that. Yeah, <laughs> it's catchy, isn't it? Yeah. And Ozzy Awesome is all about traveling in Japan. Actually, I think he lives in Japan. Very interesting. Yes, never been there. Would love to go. I've okay. learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for your question. Apparently, this one is famous in Japan. Oh. Would you... <laughs> remembered what it is. <laughs> Would you rather eat poop that tastes like curry or curry <gasps> that tastes like poop? <laughs> oh my goodness. I well, know. neither, obviously. Um, oh my god. I must say, I love curry, but I think I have in my time had curry that tastes like poop. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't one that I made myself, was it? No, no, it actually wasn't. You make a good curry. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've never eaten poop, so I don't quite know what it tastes like. So I imagine it's quite vile. Um, I would say I'd have to oh, eat the curry that tasted like poop because at least I'd know I was eating proper food and not yeah. the real thing. Yeah, it would just be unpleasant then, wouldn't it? Rather really, than yeah. unsanitary. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm going to go along with that too. I'm going to say curry that tastes like poop. <laughs> Who's next? Who's Yay. next? This question comes to us from Karim Julani. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. But KG79 on YouTube. And I love this channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it so much. He's got the sweetest family. His dad does some amazing cooking and recipes. And there's also a lot of philosophy and um, kind of inspirational videos in there too, which are just really uplifting. So go and check that out. Yeah. If that sounds appealing to you. And we have loads of questions. So thank you so much. Okay, first one. Skydiving or bungee jumping? Oh. 
You've hit on my two worst nightmares. <laughs> Even worse than the fish thing. It's the fear of falling from a height. Yeah, well they both kind of involve that, don't they? Yeah. I would say skydiving if I was strapped to a nice skydiving instructor. They would kind of, you know, help a little bit. The bungee jumping is so dangerous. All that pinging around and I yeah. would be so frightened that the um, elastic thing would break and I would go crashing down to the rocks or whatever below. So I would say skydiving hugely reluctantly. I would say skydiving not so reluctantly. I'd quite mm. like to do it but just never have. I don't know if bungee jumping appeals to me in the same way. Don't I feel like that would be a lot of pressure on the old neck. Skydiving looks fun though, I'd definitely try that. I've told Lucy if she does ever go skydiving not to let me know because I'd be so nervous I wouldn't yeah. want to know I'll just watch. tell her afterwards. Yeah, but just don't go. No, <laughs> I won't. Or will I? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Downhill skiing or water skiing? I have been skiing once as a pure beginner, hadn't done any lessons or anything beforehand. I really had fun, it was many years ago. I've never water skied, but mm. that does look super fun. I would say downhill skiing because I The old fish phobia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't like to go on a black run, but I have done it and it was it was fantastic. Uh, I don't know why I only did it once, but mm. yeah, I would say that. Yeah, I'd probably choose skiing too. I've never done it and I would probably be terrible at it because I've got awful balance. I can't skateboard and rollerblading and stuff like that doesn't come naturally. So I feel like this is going to also be a problem. But um, water skiing kind of terrifies me a little bit. So I would definitely say skiing. Mm -hmm. Also you get some nice scenery, don't you? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. up in the mountains. So I mean yeah. it might be worth it just for that. And there's always a prey ski, which is always very enjoyable. What's that? Oh, it's when you stop and have a little drinky and things. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about a prey ski. Oh, a prey ski? Oh, yes. You could just, <laughs> just definitely ski. My friend Kim just goes for the a prey ski. <laughs> she, I love it. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Eat suicide spicy wings or get stung by a yellow jacket. Oh my goodness. Both sound horrible, don't they? Yes, they do. I've been stung by a wasp in the UK and, mm. and a bee and it's really, really painful. It's nasty. But the spicy food, you don't cope well with that. No, I'm almost leaning towards getting stung. Because it would sting your mouth, that spicy food. Yeah, yeah. And then like your whole insides. If it's just one sting, then maybe I could cope with that better than I could the spicy wings. I'm really no good. Go and watch the spicy pepper challenge that we did a few yeah. weeks ago and you will see how awful I am. Well, I'd go for the spicy pepper wings, probably. Yeah. Yeah, not it's sure. It's a tough one. It is. It's hard to, like, put the pain level side by side, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And see which one would hurt the most. Yeah. I'm tentatively saying the wasp. Mum's tentatively, tentatively saying the spicy wings. Yes. We reserve the right to change our mind <laughs> if we experience one. <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Own a dog or a cat? Oh, well I've um, had a cat when I was a child. He was gorgeous. Yeah. And I've had a dog as an adult and I'm grandma to a puppy. I would say a dog. Yeah, I've not owned a cat. I do love cats actually. I think I would happily own a cat. But having owned a dog as an adult, I just am having the best time and I wouldn't change it for anything, so I'm gonna say a dog. So I think that's it for today, everybody. Oh, so are you no more questions? No on more there? questions. Well, there's a lot of questions. Yeah, thank you so much for your participation, everybody. We so much appreciate we it. We do. And you know, if there are more questions you would like to ask us, mm. maybe we can do a part two. Yeah, yeah, comment below with your would you like.